Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel and today's topic is for class 6, chapter 1, knowing our numbers, exercise 1.2. I'll solve some questions from the exercise 1.2 and for those who have not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for new notification. So let's get started with our lesson. See, the first question is, a book exhibition was held for four days in a school. The number of tickets sold at the counter on the first, second, third and final day was respectively uh, 1094, 1812, 2050 and 2751. So, we will find out the total number of tickets sold on all the four days. So, there was a book exhibition held on four days. book exhibition was held for four days okay as given in the question so the number of tickets sold at the counter on the first second third and final day so first on the first day the number of tickets sold is this second is this third and four so we'll find out the total number of tickets sold on all the four days so first day as given in the question it is 1094 tickets are sold on the first day on the second day it is 1812 given here third is 2050 and the final day which is the fourth day is 27 Five, one. Now we will find out the total number of tickets sold on all the four days. So what will be the total number of tickets on all the, uh, sold on all the four days? It will be the sum of all the four. So we will sum up these four numbers. Total tickets sold. It will be the sum of all these four, five, six, seven, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 2 carry, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16, 17, 1 carry, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So the total number of tickets sold on all the 4 days is 7707. This is the second question. Sekhar is a famous cricket player. He has so far scored 6980 runs in test matches. He wishes to complete 10,000 runs. How many more runs does he need? So in the question is given, Sekhar is a famous cricket player and he has scored this much runs so far. So... Shekhar scored how many runs? 6980 runs. Okay. He scored 6980 runs. But he wishes to complete 10,000 runs. He has scored only 6800 runs and he wishes to complete 10,000 runs. So how many more runs does he need? runs he need to complete is see here he wishes to complete he needs to complete is 10,000 minus this 6980 he 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 scored this much and he wishes to complete this. So it will be the subtraction of these two numbers. 0, 10 minus 8. We will take one from there. Carry 1. 10 minus 8 is 2. 9 minus 9 is 0. And here 9 remains here. 9 minus 6 is 3. So, uh, so he wishes to complete 10,000 runs. Then how many runs if he need to complete this 10,000? It is 3020 so you see here he has scored this and if he scored more this 
3020 then it will be 10,000 okay so the answer is this he wishes to complete uh, he needs how, how many more runs does he need is he need 3020 runs so you write here he need 3020 runs okay let's move on to our next question so question number three is in an election the successful candidate registered 5,77,500 votes and his nearest rival secured 3,48,700 votes by what margin did the successful candidate win the election so in the election the, the successful candidate uh, score this much vote and the unsuccessful score this much votes so the question is that the successful by what margin did the successful candidate win the election that means the successful candidate won by how many votes so first we'll write the successful candidate successful means the candidate who won the election successful candidate has how many votes five seven seven five zero zero votes and the and his nearest rival the rival candidate has how many votes here three lakhs forty eight thousand 700 votes so by what margin did the successful we are going to see now by what number the successful candidate won from his rival candidate so the margin the successful candidate won the election won by c we have to subtract these two numbers and we'll see that the rival candidate lacked by this much votes so the minus of this is zero zero seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen we'll take one from here it becomes fifteen eight now here it will be six so we'll take one from here sixteen 16 minus 8 is 8 16 minus 8 is 8 so here will be 6 now 6 minus 4 6 minus 4 is 2 and here will be 5 minus 3 it will be 2 so it is 2 lakh 28,800 so the successful candidate won by this much vote now let's move on to our next question question number 4 See question number four is Kirti bookstore sold book rupees this much in the first week of June and books worth rupees this in the second week of the month that is in June. So how much was the sale for the two weeks together? This is the first question and in which week was the sale greater and by how much? This is the second question. So uh, Kirti bookstore sold in the first week this much this much rupees and in the second week this so first we'll find out the book sold for the two weeks together and in the next question we'll find out which week he sold kt bookstore sold greater okay so first is we'll write first of book sold in the first week so how much is it this see in the first week this much so it is rupees two eight five eight nine one and in the second week it is this in the second week books sold in the second week it's rupees four zero zero 
seven six eight so how much was the sale for the two weeks together sale for the two weeks will be the addition of this two first week and second week together so eight nine fifteen one six six eight six so it is six lakhs eighty six thousand six hundred and fifty nine so in the two weeks he sold rupees six lakhs eighty six thousand six hundred and fifty nine so we got the answer for the first question now we'll see for the second question in which week was the sale greater so you see here first week is two lakhs something and second week is four lakhs something so obviously the second week will be greater so in which week was the sale greater the sale is greater in the in the second week and by how much will be will subtract this two so for second week will write first because it is greater second week 400768 and first week it is 2858 Five eight nine one. So by how much is greater? It is the subtraction of this two. Eight minus one is seven. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So it is six here. Sixteen minus eight is eight. Nine minus five is four. Nine minus eight is one. And three minus two is one. It is one lakh fourteen thousand eight hundred and seventy-seven. So I hope this question is clear. Let's do question number five now. See, question number five is find the difference between the greatest and the least number that can be written using the digits this each only once. So the difference means we have to find the subtraction of these two numbers. What are the two numbers? What is the first one is the greatest and the second one is the least formed by this. Digits and it will be used only once. So first, let us make the greatest number. Greatest number from this number is see for making the greatest number. First, write the greatest number among this also. First is seven. Next is six, four, three, and two. And the least is just opposite. Just take the smallest number first, and then see two, three, four, six, seven. It's just opposite, and it's very easy to find the difference. Difference between this is difference is minus of this two. Two is greater than seven, so we'll take one from here. It will be twelve. Twelve minus seven. Five. Then here it will be two. Two we cannot do uh, because it is smaller than six. So we'll take one from here. It will be twelve. Twelve minus six is six. Then here it will be three. We'll take one from here. It will be thirteen. Thirteen minus four is nine. Now next here it will be five. So five minus three is two. Seven minus two is five. So the difference between the two is five, fifty-two thousand nine hundred and sixty-five. This is the answer. So let's move on to question number six. So question number six here: A machine on an average manufactures two thousand eight hundred twenty-five screws a day. How many screws did it produce in the month of January two thousand and six? So here in the given question. Uh, in one day, a machine manufactures two eight two five. So, how many how many screws will it produced in January? January is written here, so we can understand that it how many screws will it produce in January means thirty one days. So, one day it is two eight two five screws. So 
we will find out how many screws it produced in the month of January that means 31 days in 31 days it will produce the multiplication of this 2 2 8 2 5 into 31 if in one day it is this then in 31 days it will be 2 8 to 5 into 31 screws so 2 8 to 5 into 31 1 into this all will be the same into 3 5 is so 15 1 carry 3 uh, 2 just 6 7 3 8 is so 24 3 2 just 6 7 8 5 5 6 7 15 7 and 8 so it is 8 7 5 7 5 it is 7575 screws so in one day if it is this then in 31 days it will be this so i will solve the other six questions from exercise 1.4 in the next class